Today is second Moore's Millions qualifier, is leg 12, and it's a long distance version. This one is four and a half miles, and this is pretty much as far as we go in the league. It's a 0 to 140, and Joshua Southern has got the top pair. National Nightmare and Take the Long Road. Eyes of the World for Leon van Rensburg. Close nose for David Robertson. Zally Thinker. Graham Clitterbuck. Ectiham Slave. David Robertson. Inquisitress Wink for Craig Allen. Bird on my lawn. Darren Thompson. Chrysalis Future and Compact Body. James Shea. Debanshire Man. Alex Cherry. Labanese. Craig Beckwith. Anaheim. Paul Rhodes. Maritza Thomas Rogers. Set the trend for Paul Rhodes. Blue Penny. Martin Leland. Opponent Advantage. Darren Thompson. Victory Heights. David Hooney. Hellas. Stu Gray. Shipboard Majestic. Ben Benici. Blanche Neige for Alex Cherry, Zinc for Kevin Meenahan and Lakota Ghost for Obi Wan. So a good solid field of 23 for this. I dare say some of these top weights will be in the Leon Van Rensburg Cup at Cheltenham next week. And away they go. And one's been left at the start. Set the trend has just point blank refused to race. So didn't want to know. And um, that's a bit of a disaster for Paul Rhodes. If you'd have told me three or four seasons ago that Paul Rhodes would be having horses that refused to start. I would have just laughed at you. So, it's a bit of a turn up. And it's Zinc and Paul Rhodes, the other Anaheim, who lead into the first of 31. And they're all safely over it, but we've already lost one, remember. Set the trend, who has set an unfortunate trend in the roads yard of not starting. As they get over the next, which obviously going to remind us all fondly of Charlie Farthing and his oh, Ben which I think was in my very first season. The horse just refused to race every week, and they get over the next. And all safely over it, with Anaheim and Zinc. About five lengths clear. Oh, National Nightmare running wide on the track in third. And down on this inside is Opponent's Advantage, and then Chrysalis Future. So they come up past the stand. There's quite a few more circuits to go. I'm in front, Zinc second. National Nightmare opponents in Russia. They're getting quite well strung out, especially one or two of these are staying quite wide on the track. Whether they're looking for better ground or not, I don't know. We'll find out soon enough, I suppose. Blue Penny already been scrubbed along towards the back. Maritza is the current back marker, but Zinc is in the lead from Anaheim in second. Then National Nightmare is back in third and opponent advantage four. Then Chrysalis Future and Blanche Neige with closed nose after that one. And then Hellas and Compact Bonnie as they get to the fifth. Which they all get over nicely. No faller so far then, just the one that didn't start. And Zinc in front. Cut this ditch. All over that one nicely as well. Through the rain, this will take quite a bit of getting this four and a half mile trip to you know, a proper stayer to win this. And I'd be surprised to see one or two of those out the back near the front at the end because stamina will definitely come into play. Um, Anaheim is in the lead, Zinc is second, National Nightmare is third. As they get to the next, and there's a fall on there. One of Alex Cherry has gone, it's Blanche Neige. So, Blanche. Blanche Nish is out, and as I have just decided to start to get hiccups halfway through this, because that would really be a bit of a disaster, but it's Anaheim in the lead, from National Nightmare second, Zinc is in third, gap of six lengths, then back to Chrysalis Future and Opponent's Advantage, and a gap of two to the Grey Hellas, with Shipboard Majestic chasing that one, and then comes Inquisitress Wink and Debanshire Man, trying to get a bit closer, closed nose, and he's also there in those turquoise and maroon hoops, the one in the same colour as the grey horse on the near side is Ectiham Slave, looking towards the back, Victory Heights is just the back marker and to decide whether they go in or out as they get to the 10th, and there's a fall there, Hellas has gone so Stu Grey's grey is out and that's his only one in this, so no more we're still in this one, but it's Anaheim in the lead. Oh, Burnham and Lawn's gone as well. Oh, Burnham and Lawn, who was a really, put in a really good performance over this sort of trip in one of the trial races earlier in the season. It looked like Darren Thompson had got himself a real live national hope. Not really done so well in the league as I expected it to. It's 
still time yet. Of course, one of few bad runs and he's dropped down the handicap for the national. And it's maybe not such a bad thing. But it's zinc in front as they come up past their stand again. Two more circuits still to go. And let's hope they don't get dizzy. And it's zinc in front from Anaheim in second, then National Nightmare in third. We know that's a national horse because Joshua Sutherland does a sort of favour and calls them all national or something, so we know. Then comes Opponent's Advantage, then Chrysalis Future, and then Inquisitress Wink, and Shipboard Majestic to Bansha Mans after that one, and then Closed Nose and Compact Bonnie with Take the Long Road, is not had a mention before, uh, nor Eyes of the World, those two just running quiet races, along with Labanese as well, Blue Penny is moving forward a little bit on the outside of the Grey Actiham Slave, then Maritza, who's gone past Lakota Ghost, Victory Heights and Zami Thinkar, as they get over number 14, which they all successfully negotiate and three in a line then Zinc National Nightmare and Anaheim and they're a good six or seven lengths clear of opponent's advantage and Chrysalis Future with the Inquisitress Wink getting considerably closer the Bansha Man looks to be going well as they get over the 16th and they're all safely over that one they're getting quite strung out again now 25 lengths first to last now with Zinc in the lead I uh, one is a four at the back, Zami Thinkar's gone. Uh, that's a bit of a surprise. That one normally runs a decent sort of race. And that one has departed. Lakota Ghost was hampered a little bit by the fall up, but he's okay as they get over the next. And Zinc, who I believe ran in the Grand National a couple of seasons ago, is clearing the lead from National Nightmare in second, Anaheim is in third. And a big gap back to Chrysalis Future and Opponent's Advantage, then Inquisitor's Wink, then Debanch and Closed Nose, then comes Eyes of the World, and Shipbound Majestic going well on the inside, then comes Take the Long Road and Labanese, and Combat Bonnie Etiam Slave, Blue Penny, the Purple Jacketed Victory Heights on the outside of that one with Maritza on the rail, and finally Lakota Ghost, the last one still on his feet, with five of them departed the race, and Zinc is in the lead by about a length and a half maybe two lengths getting over number 19 and uh, that time opponent's advantage was untied and has lost a couple of places but they all got over it okay and over the next they go all over that one safely as well with Lakota Ghost just getting a little bit detached at the back probably two to three lengths off it now as National Nightmare hits the front over fence number 21 Zinc on the inside second, Anaheim is third. And a big gap to Chrysalis Future as they take the next fence number 22. And the Lakota Ghost is gone. Right at the back, Lakota Ghost finally made a mistake that was costly enough to make him lose his rider as they go past the winning post and they've got one more circuit left to go then now. And it's National Nightmare on the outside of Zinc in second. Anaheim is in third. Gap back to opponent's advantage is four. Incredulous Wink is five. And then Debancher Man after that one. Eyes of the World is trying to get into it as well. Take the Long Road also trying to run on. Then the Closed Nose after that one. Blue Penny and Shipboard Majestic trying to get into it as well. But they're racing now towards the next. And it's Zinc and National Nightmare disputing the lead. With Anaheim just tucked in nicely behind them. Now, what have we switched to the outside? Four length gap back to opponents. Advantage in Wizards Wink and Chrysalis Future. Then Eyes of the World, the Bansha Man is going well. Take the long road wider on the track as they take number 23, which they all get over. Although there was a mistake by Shipboard Majestic. And uh, National Nightmare is now half a length up on the Zinc in second as they get over that one. But Zinc's right down the bottom of the way. Towards a faller there. And uh, that's Labanese that's gone this time. So it's Zinc there, they're on the bottom weights against the top weight National Nightmare. That could make a difference. Anaheim is next as they get over the 25th. And he's gone. The fall of their Zinc has crashed out. So the fall is coming thick and fast now. And National Nightmare leads from Anaheim in second. Opponent's advantage third. Then after that one comes Eyes of the World, who's really starting to run on. Then Inquisitor's Wink, the Bansha Man, Compact Bonnie. He's coming through with a good looking run as well. This is still wide open as they get over the 27th. The top weight National Nightmare is 
in the lead from opponent's advantage second compact Bonnie coming round the outside in third then Anaheim trying to sneak on take the long road running on eyes of the Lord is next then in good it is winking the bunch of man one or two of these coming wide victory heights he's trying to come wide so too is blue penny but it's in the lead still the top weight national nightmare but now be impressed by compact Bonnie the second of the Joshua Sutherland horses the second top weight take the long road is running on into third then comes opponent's advantage eyes of the world is back in fifth then comes in good winking then Anaheim after that one is the Bansher man blue penny he's running on that one stays all day then comes victory heights and empty ham slave as they race down towards the next then and that's the 28th and over that one is compact Bonnie who's gone on the Joshua Sutherland pair of second and third then comes opponent's advantage back in fourth these four are clear they've still got three to take over the third last the final ditch it's compact Bonnie over it in front compact Bonnie from take the long road and national nightmare opponent's advantage the only one trying to run on but compact Bonnie over the second last is clear six seven lengths clear and compact Bonnie looking like he's only got to skip over the final fence to take this one racing up to the last gets over it nicely gets away from the one and he's pulling away by a good 10 12 lengths this one's going to go rocketing up the handicap after this compact Bonnie wins it absolutely and a cancer well, a long way nothing else in shot compact Bonnie the easy winner fast finishing Exi Hamslave may have got ahead of Ponus Advantage Blue Penny also ran on really well ship all majestic got rid of its jockey at the final fence and compact Bonnie just put them to the sword there the wasn't the bottom weight it's probably nicely weighted but it's got to have to go up a lot for that Exi Hamslave second you don't win a Moore's Millions by that far very often and compact Bonnie has taken it <laughs> taken it by a long way as well now let's get the full list it's compact body for James Shea that one's not going to be winning any hunter chases and Exy Ham Slave for David Robertson was second opponent's advantage for Darren Thompson was third national nightmare Joshua Sutherland made a brave attempt under the big weight and stuck on for fourth and Debanshire man ran on well as well to be fifth